this is the third lesson in the year eight game design unit and we're going to be looking at programming some baddies and programming our scoring system. Now what I want us to be able to do is to create um, some baddies which move automatically so understand how to do that. Understand how to program the main character so that if it's touched by a baddie um, that it does something for example perhaps moves back to the start of the game. Understand how to use a variable to uh, record the score in a game and understand how to shoot baddies and achieve a score. And really what I want us to, to get our practice games doing um, at the end of this little session is so that it's got a few baddies that we can shoot. But if the main character touches the baddie, the main character gets uh, sent back to the start of the game. So imagine you've got your practice game that we had before, just a, a single level. Uh, you're um, a character that goes onto different platforms. Um, there's gravity so that you can walk along the platforms, but if you fall off, uh, then you'll fall down the screen and also that you've got a shooter program so that you can fire out bullets at any time. Now how can we add a baddie? Well what we can do is we can create a new sprite for them and then we can add a script so that it moves back and forth along a platform um, over and over again. Well how do we do this? Well it's fairly straightforward. Remember that a baddie is just a new sprite so we paint a new sprite. Here's a, a baddie sprite that I've created uh, if I want the baddie to stay on its feet, then I need to make sure that I press in the directions box for the uh, for the sprite uh, this middle button here. That'll keep it on its feet, and then I need to position it where I want. Then I need to make sure that I've programmed some movement. So in order to do to do that, we uh, can position our sprite in the right position. We can uh, sort of look at the coordinates of where the starting point is. So in this case, the baddie is at 210, 117. And then I can move the baddie somewhere else along the platform and take note of the actual coordinates of where I've moved it to. And then what I can do is I can use a, a forever loop where I can make the baddie point in the correct direction and then glide to this new location and I can set amount of time that it's going to take to glide. So if it's a um, a number of seconds, it'll be um, you know if it's two seconds, it'll be slower movement than if it was one second, for example. And then I can make the baddie turn in the opposite direction and then move back to the original location. So two glide scripts will allow us to do this inside a forever loop. Now, how can we make the character go back to the start when touched by the baddie? Well, what we'd need to do is go to the main character and we'd need to add a script that makes it go to a certain coordinate when it's touched by a baddie sprite. So how do we do this? Well, have a look at this script here. We can say that forever if, so if, if it's ever been touched by sprite 2, which in this case is a baddie, uh, then we can make the cat go back to the start. Now this script would have to be uh, duplicated for each particular baddie that you've got so if it was if there were three baddies you might have sprite two sprite three sprite four you'd need to do it for each one but this would be where you program the cat to move back to a certain location so in this case minus 29 116 when it's touched by a baddie so let's have a little demonstration of that so here you can see the game that we uh, have been creating over the last couple of lessons if I click the green flag I can move the cat from platform to platform it falls off because gravity is acting on it and if I press the space bar a bullet fires out so if we wanted to create a baddie sprite then I would need to create a new sprite so I'm going to paint a new one and I'm going to make this very very simple indeed let's draw a little head can make him move along and then we can have a little gun for example so there is a baddie sprite now what I can do is I can position this sprite in the location that I want now notice down here it shows me the position of that baddie it's at 230 101 now if I was to move this sprite to here which is where I want it to uh, to glide to to appear to be walking the new location is minus 123 100 so I need to make sure that I'm always aware of what the coordinates are so I'm going to now program this particular sprite and I'm going to use a forever loop 
obviously I need to kick start this script when the green flag is clicked so I need that uh, hat script on top and then what I'm going to make him do is I'm going to make the baddie point to the left hand side I'm going to make the baddie then glides glide sorry for two seconds to the location over here so okay it's changed slightly but minus 125 102 so minus 125 102 and then I'm going to make that baddie point in the opposite direction and then glide back to the start now notice just then okay he is going upside down I need to make sure he stays in his feet so I'm just going to go to the direction box here and click on that middle button which is what I said in the PowerPoint to keep him on his feet and at the moment he's not going to glide anywhere because he's always staying at the same location he glides to minus 125 102 then he is asked to turn but then he's not actually gliding anywhere so I need to update this glide script with the location that I want him to walk towards so 230 103 230 103 well 102 is close enough so now if I click the green flag let's see what happens okay so the baddie is definitely uh, going from left to right but you can see there that he's actually um, sort of walking backwards so let's stop that and let's go back to the costume and let, let's just highlight or select the the um, the baddie and let's flip him horizontally there we go so now he's facing the other way so now if I go back and I click the green flag there we go my baddie is now walking along and that is absolutely fine so the next thing I want to do is I want to program the cat so that if it touches the baddie that it goes back to the start so in order to do that I'm going to use a when green flag is clicked I need to use a forever loop because I want to constantly check if it's sensing the baddie so let's go to sensing now the baddie sprite is sprite 2 here so if the cat is ever touching sprite 2 I'm gonna make the cat go to a starting location so let's move the cat over here minus 205 minus 147 minus 205 minus 147 so let's see if this has worked so my cat can jump from platform to platform and if it's touched by the character the baddie it goes back to the start so that's perfect so we're halfway there so now we want to be looking to see how we can program the bullets um, so that if a baddie um, is touched by a bullet that we get a point for example so how do we do this well we create a variable which is going to act as the scorecard then we're going to program the baddie so that when it's touched uh, by the um, bullet I need to change that um, we change the score by one and the baddie hides and program the baddie to appear when the green flag is clicked at the start of each game so obviously if the baddie um, disappears in a game when we start that game up again we want it to reappear so we need to make sure that we program that as well so we're going to create a scorecard we're going to make sure that the baddie disappears when it's touched by a bullet and the score goes up by one and then we want it to reappear again at the start of the game the other thing we want to do is make sure that the score returns to zero when the game begins as well so that's a fourth thing that we need to consider how to program so to create a scorecard very straightforward it's just a variable so we go to our variables uh, button we make a variable give it a name score for example make sure it's for all sprites and then click on OK and you'll find that your scorecard comes up at the top of the stage now the next thing to make the baddie hide when it um, is hit by a bullet well we can program our baddie so that forever if touching bullet so whenever it's touched by a bullet it disappears the baddie disappears and the score goes up by one now if we want the baddie to make sure that it always appears at the start of the game we need to change this script slightly so that we have a show script 
just before the forever loop and after we click the green flag. So what this means is we click the green flag, the baddie shows. This happens at the start of every game. Then it constantly checks to see if it's been hit by the bullet. And if it is it ever hit by the bullet, then the baddie will hide and the score will change by one. Now, like I said earlier, if we want the score to reset when the game begins, we need to make sure that we've got this script here. When the green flag is clicked, set scorecard to zero. That will reset the score at the start of the game. So let's have a look to see how we can develop our game in Scratch a little bit more so that all of these four things can be uh, programmed. Okay, so first of all, we want to create a scorecard. So I'm gonna to go to variables. I'm actually gonna untick direction, although that's really important to make sure that the bullet knows which way to face. It doesn't need to appear on our stage. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to make a, a variable. Now look, I've already got scorecard here. Now that was because I created this in a um, in a, a practice game um, before I made this video. So I'm just going to delete that and let's go from the top. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to call it scorecard or score even. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see that the score is now at the top. So that was fairly straightforward. Now I'm going to go to my baddie and I'm going to make the baddie um, hopefully disappear if the bullet touches the baddie. So I'm going to click on the green flag and I'm going to get a forever loop. A for I'm going to have an if statement in there and I'm going to get the baddie to constantly check if it is touched by the bullet. Now if it's ever touched by the bullet I want the baddie to hide And I want the score to go up by one. So I'm going to change, not direction, but change score by one. So let's click on the green flag and let's see if this works. So I'm going up from platform to platform. I press the bullet, uh, press space bar, the bullet fires, and you can see that that sprite has now disappeared and the score has gone up by one. Now if I click the green flag again, notice that the baddie doesn't come back. The score is still one. And that's not what we want. So let's go back to the baddie and let's make sure that that baddie always appears at the start of the game. So now if I click the green flag, the baddie is appearing, which is great. But notice the score is still one. That's no good. So I'm going to go to the stage and here, okay, this is one that I've made earlier. You can see that when the green flag is clicked, set, well, that was my old variable. Let's change that to the new one, which is called score, set score to zero. So now when I click the green flag, score is zero, the baddie is shown, and I can go up and I can fire a bullet at that baddie. If I click the green flag again, it comes back. And you can see that the cat goes back to the start when it's touched by the baddie. So that is a, a very quick demonstration of how we can get our baddies uh, in our game, how we can make them um, be uh, program so that they um, will disappear when touched by the bullet and also how we can program our main character to go back to the start if it's touched by a baddie without having shot it first. Now if you want to create more baddies, which of course you probably do, you would need to go through the same process for each uh, new baddie that you put on. So you'd need to draw a new new sprite, you'd need to program it to go in new locations, okay, so its own little glide script, so it goes from one place to the other. And then you'd also need to program it so that, again, if it's touched by the bullet, that it hides and the score goes up by one. Have a go at trying to achieve the same thing yourself.